Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys some outfits that I am definitely wearing this summer and that I feel like a lot of people can recreate with different pieces of clothing to make them less basic. Because before I get started, I know a lot of my outfits are basic, but pieces that I use in the outfits are what make them a little bit less basic, such as the colors, the patterns, and all that kind of stuff. Although I do know they are still pretty basic, but it's what I like to wear, it's what I feel comfortable in, and that is what I advise everyone to do this summer, is to wear what you want to wear this summer like who cares what other people think so I just wanted to make sure everybody knew that these outfits are things that I like to wear and they're just ideas for what other people could wear too but yeah without further ado let's just get started Okay, so the first outfit that I picked out is just a simple little dress that you can wear. This is the one that I picked out. My friend got it for me for, I think, my birthday. And it's kind of like this scoop neck, short sleeve dress that is black with these pretty pink roses. This one, I believe, is from PacSun. But literally, any dress is super cute. I just feel like these floral ones are really nice for summer. And then the jewelry that I paired with this dress are first some rings. All the rings that I wear in every outfit are literally the same, and they're all from different places. So I'm not exactly sure where they're from. I know some of them are from H&M, some of them are from small businesses, but I like to mix up my rings sometimes, but I literally wore the same ones for every outfit, but I did change up the necklaces. So for this dress outfit, I wore this necklace, which is a silver chain necklace that has this little butterfly charm on the bottom. I just felt like this one fit the outfit very well. I also didn't change my hair for any of these outfits because, not gonna lie, I was kind of feeling lazy because I had a lot to try on. So yeah, I would definitely change up the hair for all of the outfits, but like I said, I was lazy. And then the shoes I paired with this outfit are just some Converse. These are the Chuck All Star normal like high top Converse in white. I just got a new pair because my old ones are getting too small on me. So these are really bright white. I personally think they look a little bit better when they're somewhat dirty. So please don't mind how bright these are. Trust me, they'll get dirty eventually, but they're just new. So yeah, I paired the dress with these. <laughs> All right, and then my second outfit does involve a skirt. This skirt is from Princess Polly. It's so, so cute, and I love their skirts. I would totally suggest it. I paired this skirt with this top. This top I actually found in my mom's closet, and it looks like this. It's white, and it's from Ann Taylor Loft. I don't shop at that brand, but I got it from my mom's closet, so I don't know how well you're gonna be able to find it if you're looking for it, but it's just this white, like, t-shirt, and then on the neckline, it has this kind of, like, like design, like fabric cinch design kind of. It kind of looks like flowers in a way, but it just adds something to the top. And then the waistband is also a little bit cinched, but I did tuck this shirt into the skirt because I just felt it looked better. But that is just a super cute basic like skirt outfit for the summer. Once again, I did wear jewelry with this, the same rings as the last one. And then this necklace, this is like a gold chain necklace with these pearls on it. This one is from a small business. I don't exactly remember the name right now, but if I do remember it, I'll put it on the screen right now and then once again for shoes I did pick my normal high top converse and then I did make another version of this outfit for if your weather isn't as warm or if you feel like you need like a sweatshirt or something but don't want to wear a sweatshirt over it so what I did is I paired the same skirt but instead of like a t-shirt I paired it with this cropped sweater that I have in my closet I got this from Target about a year or two ago it's the like wild fable brand so it's kind of like this cream color it's cropped and it has this deep V neckline. So this is another alternative of the outfit if your weather isn't as warm, like I said, or if you just need some kind of like cover up in a way. But yeah, I just paired that with a skirt and I wore the same jewelry and the same shoes as well. All right, and then outfit number three is a little bit more on the comfy side, but it's still super cute and I would totally wear it out to wherever I'm going in the summer. So the pieces that I used in this outfit is this plain black cami crop top that I got from Brandy Melville. And then these sweat shorts that look gray on camera, but they do have a little bit of like a purpley tint in person. I got these from H&M and they are literally so comfortable. Also, by the way, this video is not sponsored at all. These are all my opinions on these clothes and these brands and all that kind of stuff. But yeah, 
so these sweatshorts are from H&M and this is from Brandy. So I decided to pair them together because I know some days we don't feel like dressing totally like nice, if that makes sense. Like some days we just don't want to wear jean shorts or jeans or whatever. So these are definitely a more comfy alternative, yet still cute to wear out. So it's a super simple outfit and you can definitely do it with many different colors. You could also throw an oversized hoodie over it if you ever get cold. For jewelry, I kept the same rings, of course, and then I did change up the necklace. And for this one, I wanted to choose a necklace that was a little more simple because I felt like the outfit was more simple, if that makes sense. So I picked out this gold one with this little heart pendant. That necklace, I believe, is from Amazon. My friend got me a pack of them for Christmas and that was in it. And then since the outfit was pretty simple, I decided I wanted to kind of like spice it up with the shoes, if that makes sense. So what I did is I wore my Nike Low Court Vision sneakers. I got them at Famous Footwear, I believe, for Christmas. But anyways, I wore these and then I took my like longer Nike socks. You guys can see them on the screen and I wore them so it made it look like I wasn't just wearing low top shoes. I don't know. I just feel like it added some character to the outfit and you'll definitely see that kind of like shoe style being carried on throughout the video. Okay, so for my next outfit, I picked out this brown kind of like cropped ribbed tank top from Princess Polly. Their tank tops are so, so comfortable and they are that like ribbed material. I don't know if you guys can see it, but they are super cute and I love them. And then I paired it with these light blue just mom jean shorts that I got from PacSun. I'm not even kidding you guys. These are probably the comfiest jean shorts that I've ever bought. And even though this is a basic like tank top and jean shorts outfit, I still felt like it was pretty cute. And then for jewelry, of course, I kept the rings and then I paired it with this gold little like chain necklace This came in a set with like a lock necklace that you'll see in the next outfit that my sister got me from Target I believe but yeah I just paired these two pieces together and then for shoes I did the same as the last outfit and also I don't have that many like accessories in this video because I kind of forgot to show them But I can totally imagine this outfit looking really cute with like a pair of those like a little bit more retro Sunglasses, I guess you could call them and then also like a tote bag or a purse Purse and then tying your hair up with one of those claw clips. I can totally see that vibe and I'll put a picture from Pinterest on the screen if I can find one of like an example. Okay, and then the next outfit I have uses the same jean shorts, which are these blue ones from PacSun. And then I paired it with this white tank top that I got from Brandy Melville. And then I also paired it with this oversized zip up. And it's kind of like this corally orange color. If you guys watch my Zaffle haul, you definitely have seen this before. And then for jewelry, of course, the same rings, like I said before. And then I did pair it with the same like gold chain one from the last outfit. And then I added the other necklace that came in the set, which is gold and has this little lock on it. They're meant to be layered together but you can wear them apart if you want once again they're from Target and of course once again for shoes I paired it with my low vision court Nikes and also my longer Nike socks All right, next up I have another pretty basic outfit that is also pretty comfortable and this outfit consists of an oversized t-shirt. So the one that I picked is, I think this one's from PacSun. It's this big oversized pink tie-dye type shirt that says endless love in the middle. I love this t-shirt, it's so comfortable. And then I paired it with just a pair of spandex shorts that I have from volleyball. But yeah, I would pair an oversized tee with any type of shorts. These are just the ones I have. So like you could pair them with spandex, biker shorts, jeans shorts whatever you want but I just feel like that's a really cute outfit and then I did pair this one with a necklace this one's from a small business once again the name's not on the top of my head but if I remember it it'll be on the screen and this one is gold with this pretty pendant in the middle that's blue and has this little like lightning bolts I don't know if you guys can see it and then of course I'm using my low vision court Nikes with the socks trust me it's gonna change up soon I promise Okay, so like the gardener people just came outside of my house. I'm not sure if you guys can hear them or not, but I really need this video to be filmed, so I'm gonna try to talk over it. Hopefully my microphone will capture my voice and not the gardeners. But anyways, the top that I chose is this one. This is a black like crop tank top that has this cool like white stitch design that's on the outside. This top is from Zaffle and it's super soft. And then I also paired it with these shorts from Zaffle. They're really flowy shorts with this nice cinched waistband and then they do have pockets in the back. And then 
for a necklace, I chose this like layered necklace that I have. These ones are actually connected, so you can only wear them together. They are gold and they look like that. These came in the little necklace pack that my friend got me off of Amazon. And then for shoes, I changed it up a little bit. So instead of wearing the Nikes, I wore my Converse with the Nike socks because that style is kind of cute to me. I don't know why. I just decided to change it up for this outfit. Looking from your telescope, take me on this journey home. I don't wanna wait. So the top that I picked for this outfit is this one. It's this white like scoop neck top that has this cool little like design in the front. I don't know if you guys can see it. And then it does have little cinches on the sides that are adjustable. This top is so cute and it's very comfortable as well. I have worn it a couple times and gotten a lot of questions from you guys like where it's from. It's from Zaffle. So I paired this top with these black jean shorts. I got this pair from Target. They're definitely very comfortable. And it's hard for you guys to see on camera but this one does have like some rips on it and the jewelry that I paired this with are obviously the rings and then this necklace this is a gold chain necklace with this pretty little flower on the front I got this necklace from PacSun and then once again for shoes I did pair it with my high top converse and then the white Nike socks So first it's this tank top and it's kind of like this patchwork tank top with these blues. It's super cute and then it's just plain navy blue on the back. This top is from Zaffle and I love this one. And I just paired it with these black jeans that are from Target. These are the Wild Fable brand. They're a little bit of a washed out black and then they do have these rips on the knees. And then the necklace that I paired with this outfit is this silver necklace that has this pretty little heart charm on the bottom. And this heart necklace is actually from the same small business as this like butter fly one that I showed you in the way beginning of the video. I don't remember the small business name, but it was one of the first like small businesses that I ever partnered with on my channel, but I love these necklaces and for shoes, I just paired this one with Converse because the jeans are longer, so I didn't need like longer socks to kind of, I don't know, enhance the outfit if that makes sense. But yeah, that is it for this outfit. So this outfit does include two tops because they're kind of like layered. So the first one is just this white tank top that you guys saw earlier. This one's from Brandy Melville. And then on top, I put this like pink blouse that I got from Zaffle. So it's this pink floral blouse that has a little like tie in the front. And it is so cute. And I love this so much. So that is the top. And then for bottoms, I just wore these blue ripped jeans that I got from H&M. I believe these are boyfriend jeans, but I'm honestly not for sure. For shoes, I did wear my my Nike low court vision shoes. And then for a necklace, I wore this one. So this is like a silver chain necklace and then the butterfly charm is silver too. And I don't know if you guys can see, but it does have a little pearl inside. My grandma actually got me this for my birthday where basically you got to get this pearl out of a clam or an oyster, I don't know. And the color of your pearl tells something about you. So like the color of mine is this light pink. It's really hard for you guys to see, but it's light pink and it represented health. So yeah, it's a super cute little necklace. Okay, and then the last outfit I have for you guys in today's video is definitely a comfortable outfit. This one, of course, you can wear out, but I imagine this of like one of those summer days where you're just kind of like at home and just chilling. So the top for this one is this blue athletic tank top that I got off of Amazon. I have this one in like this color and then also this like reddish pink. These are so comfortable. And then I paired it with these like gray Lululemon joggers. I don't exactly know like the style of these. All I really know is that they're Lululemon joggers. My best friend Lindsay actually gave these to me, which is so, so nice of her because they didn't fit her anymore. And yeah, so thank you so much to Lindsay for giving these to me. So I just kind of paired these together and then I did wear my long Nike socks under it. I didn't pair this outfit with any jewelry. I might have worn my rings, but I don't think I did because like I said, I imagine this at home relaxing where I don't really try to like dress up, you know, so I didn't wear jewelry. I didn't wear shoes and yeah, so I do believe that is all the the outfits that I have for today's video. Once again, I know they are pretty basic, but that's just kind of like what I like to wear. I'm trying to wear more like variety of clothes, but that'll take some time. And one message that I want to get across to everyone is to wear what you want to wear over the summer. Don't care what other people think. Like it's summer, who cares? You do what you want to do. And yeah, if you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that bell down below to be notified whenever I post. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!